Hello and welcome to this review of the Byronic Book Club Historical Romance Book Series by Amy Rose Bennett. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot. You're watching Random Olive Reads. First up is Up All Night with a Good Duke, which is book one. We have instant attraction the minute these two bump into each other outside a train station. Artemis has left her position as a finishing school teacher to help her friend navigate the London season, and she also sets out to find a patron for her women's college. And by the way, she's also a secret gothic romance writer. Dominic is the dastardly duke with a reputation for harming his deceased wife, and he's trying to rein in his wayward 15-year-old daughter. When he decides he needs a wife, he only has eyes for Artemis. There's a lot of different plot points and family connections going on in this book. There's a little bit of drama with a governess who's up to no good, but it's clear that Dominic has a strong degree of respect and attraction for Artemis, and that is actually the absolute best. Book two of the series is Curled Up with an Earl. Will is an earl and a duke's heir, but he is estranged from his grandfather, serving as a spy for Scotland Yard. He is investigating a botanical expert on poisonous plants to try to determine if the man is responsible for the murder of another nobleman. He poses as the new groom of the estate to do this. However, he's instantly smitten by Lucy, the daughter of the botanical baron, who serves as a botanical expert in her own right. Lucy is preoccupied with her own blue stocking studies and desire to travel, while also looking after her father's financially floundering estate and trying to locate her brother. Lucy's very busy. I enjoyed watching Lucy and Will interact with each other. They're both a little nervous, a little smitten, and then eventually they did team up with some open honesty about the midpoint of the book. The romance plot was pretty low angst without any third act breakup between our two, and we do eventually find out why Lucy's brother was driven away, and we do find out the culprit of the poisoning plant murder. And lastly, we have Tall Duke and Scandalous. Jane gets caught trying to steal a rare book from a duke's library, but instead of getting in trouble, he proposes marriage to her instead. Christopher is the newly inherited duke with a reputation for throwing debaucherous parties, but really he's hiding the fact that an assassination attempt has left him unable to recognize or remember faces of the people around him. He needs help navigating the people around him, as well as help finding his killer. Jane has her own burdens with a scarred face after an accident with her ex-fiance 10 years ago. She has a gambling mother, and now all of a sudden she has a blackmailer. So she pretty quickly takes Christopher up on his offer, mostly because she needs the money, but also because she's very much attracted to him. Both of these people are pretty slow to trust the other person due to their past hurts, but the physical affection starts early and often. I really enjoyed seeing them team up together against his mystery murderer. The series was connected by our female friend group, the Byronic Book Club, but each book reads pretty easily as a standalone. The events do go in chronological order, but it's not terribly essential to read these books in order. I enjoyed all of them, with one main character keeping some sort of secret from their love interest throughout the story. I think book two was like the lowest angst out of all the books, and all of them were delightfully steamy. This is definitely a winner of a series, and I totally recommend all three books. Thank you so much for watching this video. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos, and you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.